My modification to Da Vinci's theory of all knowledge successfully predicted the nature of the super technology of the future. The membrane of the ovum contains the ancient all-seeing eye, a liquid crystal optics which focuses life into existence. That's it. But we know now that the unpublished papers of Newton were based on fractal logic. The membrane of the ovum contains the ancient all-seeing eye, a liquid crystal optics which focuses life into existence. Kant's ethics is indeed about the electromagnetic purpose of the universe. Dr. Carl Kellerman put the pieces together. I wish I had done this. When the male electric motor driving the sperm penetrates the ovum, it morphs into a balanced yin-yang electromagnetic phenomenon called the centriole, forming Kant's ethic of life. Scientists such as Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff are researching about what can be considered to be crucial properties of the centriole associated with the cerebral functioning of microtubule polymers. Without a doubt, nanopolymer research, nanopolymer research, not the other stuff that, um, that we warned about, the nanopolymer research is now becoming a crucial research for humanity's future. The centriole electromagnetically energizes the first bone created in the embryo, the sphenoid bone, which transmits the music of the spheres, dance of life to the cerebral functioning of what Prince Charles's book associated with social aspects of the music of the spheres. The Science Arts Centre's colleague, Texas University's Dr. Richard Merrick, has used the ancient Greek music of the spheres to explain in his book, Interference, the neural functioning of creative thought. His book, A Grand Scientific Musical Theory, is a brilliant and exhaustive, exhaustive encyclopedia of the electromagnetic biological functioning of, of the human mind. The seashell design of the human cochlea is well accounted for and it is of interest that the discovery by the Science Art Research Centre of the seashell physics forces acting through space-time appear to be relevant. The sphenoid bone vibrates with the cochlea in such a way as to link the cerebral electromagnetic functioning of the centriole with the workings of Merrick's electromagnetic research. So we're on the verge of the Renaissance. 